Categories are an important part of organizing the products within your e-commerce store. They can be used for your navigation or for the product listing pages. Let's review how to use the Commerce Tools Merchant Center to create categories and subcategories for your products. To start, look for the Categories item in the left-hand menu. You can choose to list your existing categories or add new ones. Click the Add Category link to enter the basic details. You'll provide a name, description, and key. Next, you'll need to assign a category order. This is a numeric value that designates the sort order for the categories. Commerce Tools will sort the categories from low to high, starting at zero. The final step is to provide the SEO data for the category. This includes the slug, or the URL, meta title, and the meta description. Once everything is complete, click Save. You can now return to the category list and see your newly created category. If you need another category, simply repeat the process to create additional entries. Provide all the required details and sort order information for the new category. When everything is complete, hit Save. All the newly created categories are now displayed. Let's say you want to create a subcategory for one of the existing categories. We can do this by repeating the creation process and making one simple change during the second step. Just select the main category from the list and your new entry will become a subcategory for that selection. You will now see that your selected category displays an updated value for the subcategory list. You can repeat this process and create as many subcategories as needed. If you need additional organization, it's possible to create subcategories for any existing subcategory. This would give you three levels of hierarchy in your categorization. During the creation process, just select the subcategory to assign the subpath. You can confirm the category structure by simply reviewing the branch diagram from within the category details. Now that the category branches are created, it's time to assign the products to their categories. Select any item from your products list. If you scroll down on the general tab, you'll see a button marked Add Categories. Pressing this will display your list of existing categories. You can use the checkboxes to assign the product to one or more of these categories. Once the product is assigned, you can return to your categories list and see the updated product count on each category. If you want a more detailed view, click on any category and select the Products tab you will see a list of all assigned items to that category. If during this process, you're not able to assign products to categories, check the settings. You must have the product indexing activated before you can assign products to any category. You can confirm your setting from within the storefront search tab under the project settings. Make sure that indexing is activated. Since Commerce Tools is a composable platform, you'll want to confirm that your categories are properly available via the API. We'll use Postman and the Commerce Tools collection to query the API and review our categories. Using the category endpoint, we can do a GET request to return all of the available categories. The result should show the JSON data containing information for all of the categories within our store. Once you confirm the data, you're now ready to consume the information as part of your headless build. The categories can be used to develop a store navigation or a product listing page. And if you need help with your commerce tools build, contact our development and API experts at Sunrise Integration.